This tutorial introduces distance constraints, which are a new feature in Synthize 2011 that's intended mainly to help object tracking, where the little amount of perspective that's often available for object tracks typically produces some jitter in depth and the distance between the object and the camera. This constraint also works for camera to origin distance, and I'm going to demonstrate that here. So you, you can see what's involved uh, for both object type tracking and camera tracks as well. So the shot that I have has a little snap zoom uh, section in it. And I'm just going to do a quick auto track on it. And I think actually there's one tracker up there that's on a car. So let's just actually delete that one. And we'll set up a coordinate system. Review done the solve. So now we've got a basic solve set up. And if you look at the camera path, you'll see that there's a little bit of residual effect of that zoom. And that's just kind of how kind of the various errors in the system, the uh, camera distortion and off-centering and you know, perhaps a little tracker blur sorts of effects combine just to create a little step in that path that's uh, right at the time of the zoom. So let's take a, a look at that a little bit more. To, uh, to do that, I'm just going to reconfigure my viewports a little bit and set up a graph editor on one side. And on the other side, I'm going to set up the top view. So there's our step. And let's take a look over at the camera. And so just the field of view path, this is the velocity. You can see there's a, a big jump in that right as the uh, zoom is actuated. The field of view starts changing rapidly and then it uh, slows down again. And so the little step is right at the beginning of that. And that's perhaps a little shifting inside the lens itself as the uh, whole zoom mechanism gets going. But uh, let's do something about that and take this uh, step out. And there are a couple of different ways to do that. Uh, you can do it with some filtering in the field of view path. But here we're going to use the distance constraint. So let's turn that track on. And we're going to take a look at the uh, distance constraint value as well. So the value that we're seeing here, and let's get the uh, overall range set up. It's actually a fairly small change just because the uh, camera is actually fairly far away from the origin. But here, here is the, the curve, and you can see this step that uh, happens right at that particular change. So what we're going to do is open up the solver locking window, and we're going to animate the distance value to a, a desired value that we want. So I'm just setting some keys on that. So I've got a very rough approximation on the uh, distance from the camera to the origin. Make those all smooth keys. And the thing that we're going to do is now displace the keys for the distance a little bit downward, or a little bit upward, actually. So we want the camera to be further away from the origin. 
Now the other sorts of administrative things we need to do now, we need to turn on the distance constraint so that it's active throughout the entire shot. So that's going to tell Synthize that we want to lock the actual distance from the camera to the origin to this curve that we've just cooked up. The other thing we're going to need to do over on the solver panel is we're going to need to turn on the constrain checkbox and that's going to tell it that we, we want to really force this kind of constraint to be active. So now we'll go and we update. And now all of a sudden you'll see that the two curves align and uh, we've got a camera that doesn't have that kind of big step. Now we could you know, go and, and mess with this uh, quite a bit more to adjust the distance that we want a little to refine exactly how smooth that path is. There might be a little uh, a bit of difference still between the desired and the actual distances there, so we could in increase the uh, weight value on that solver locking panel as well. But that's the basic idea. It lets us set up a distance between the camera and the origin or between the camera and an object that's being tracked so that you can get the, the kind of distance you want and make it a, a smooth one rather than something that, that has jittery or any other kind of artifact.